Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this logo. It's really sharp. It came in as a PDF. I imported it, but it's a group of 1,113 objects, and it's crisp and sharp. Um, it's really cool, but to engrave this, you can see it's all grouped together, and it's made up of lines. We're going to go to a bitmap. We're going to, I can't even resample it. Convert it to a bitmap. We're going to convert it to grayscale. And then I'm going to go to trace bitmap. Yours will be underneath bitmap, outline trace, and clip art. And because it is such a sharp image, after it processes, we're going to change the detail to 100% and hit OK. Now our item is 11.8183. We're going to change our nudge factor to 12. And you can see it's still grouped together. And if you look real closely, it looks like the beard lost some detail, but it hasn't. And every logo is a little bit different, and that's why I decided to make a video on this one and try to help this gentleman. We're gonna to go to object and we're gonna group and we're gonna ungroup it. Now I'm gonna grab that black and move it over. And if you see, we've already got some transparency. That will already engrave. Now all we have to do is create the beard. I mean the red beard in these little nodules, but that's easily done. And because we've nudged it, there's a couple of ways that'll help us actually make this thing perfect. I have not taken the time to find that font. It's all capital, so I'm gonna hit caps. And I'm gonna make it kind of look like the same. I kind of recognize that font, but I, and I wish I would have taken the time to find it, but it doesn't really matter. Now what we need to do is we need to draw a an ellipse and put it about in our circle. And that's kind of, maybe let's do this. Let's hold down the shift key and make it smaller and put it at the bottom of the red beard. Now this is where the nudge distance really helps you. We're gonna nudge that up. Now we can take our text and let's just put it up here. And we're gonna go to text fit to path and fit it to path. Now, because we have nudged, we're going to go to object. Well, we have to select everything. Go to object, break text apart. And now we can nudge that right back down. We're a little bit high, but on there it looks good. It's just because it's a different text. Now do the same thing on the bottom. And you could add color to his teeth and these nodules are just made up of garbage. And that's really easily done. And, and because we've nudged again, let's zoom in here. I'm gonna take a, not a square, take an ellipse, draw a circle, put it about on top of there, and let's, uh, Let's just do this. Now, this might not work on, when you're engraving it, but you could try it. Control D and make a duplicate, holding down the shift key so that will grow in the center. And then I would suggest maybe filling that in with black. Well, we're gonna have to nudge it out of the way. So let's grab our item and nudge it out of the way. Well, that ain't gonna work because we nudged it where we can't see it and we've probably got the inside feel, which we do. So we can grab just our circle and move it out of the way. And you can see down here, you got an ellipse. And then we could, because we've nudged, we can always put it back. And I would try maybe smart filling this with a black and fill the center with a, a really light gray. So it might just engrave a little bit. And you could embellish that quite a bit. Control G and group that together. And now we can nudge that back up right where it was. And here's the cool part about nudging. 
we can take that item and can control D and make a duplicate and just put it, and there's a way you could rotate this and make it, and I got, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to, I've lost, I'm gonna take this color and nudge it out of the way. Now I've just got my circle, which should be grouped together. And there's my duplicate. So it is, so I can put it right back. Control D and make a duplicate. And now we'll put this down here and then control D again, and it should move it, which is our, to our advantage because it's gotten it out of the way. And then take this. Now, when we have this, I'm gonna nudge that one out of the way. I'm gonna nudge that one out of the way. And I'm gonna nudge that one out of the way. And group these together, control G. Now we can put them right there. Now to do the other ones, same thing, control D and make a duplicate. We could even mirror them and then holding down the control button, put them right there. Now, like I said, you could add some color to the teeth, uh, make them a little different, you know, get a, depending on what you're gonna do, let's get a light gray and you could fill in some teeth just to make them look a bit, a little bit different than the beard. Now, when you're gonna do this, and I've got several videos, I would actually run this twice and run the gray separately than the other part. And I, I'm having trouble seeing what's even his teeth. And you could embellish it, you could have some of these gray, you know, give it a little bit, especially the contrast between the black. But that's a pretty cool project, and like I said, everything's a little bit different. So that's why I decided to make the video. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.